Welcome back to Aim Small. Today we're going to look at the optimal speed to shoot all types of hunting pellets. So what I've got with me is I've got a couple of H&N hunting pellets and I've also got the JSBs in Hades, all in 0.22. Trust me, this is not sub 12 foot pound babies. These guys are going to fly. All right, so without further ado, let's start with the JSB Hades. I'm going to shoot them on six different speeds from my minimum all the way to my maximum. I'm going to record the speeds on my chronograph that's right here and I'll put it on as I do the video I'll edit in the exact speeds for each speed setting and the groupings let's do this Well, at 30 meters, that's pretty impressive. Let's go and measure up. Well, that's pretty impressive for a hunting pallet, wouldn't you say? Right through the box, all the different speeds, same old, same old, same old. Well done. All right. So the Hades is a different contender for one of the most accurate hunting pallets out there. Some fresh air in the gun. Time for some fun. So next up is my old saying of float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And these are the H&N Hornets in 16.2 grains. They are pointy tips and those tips are actually sharp, believe it or not. The idea behind these uh, Hornets is to penetrate the tougher uh, pests out there. I don't know what is the toughest there, a rat, a South African rat, a UK rat or a USA rat. But somewhere along the line, these things I think are perfect for ratting. So let's have a look at them. Oh, except for a flyer there on the last one, they were doing pretty well at 940 feet a second, which I thought was going to be way, way, way too fast. But that's not too shabby. Quite interesting to note that with the Hornets, it's the only pallet that after I change my power wheel, the first one is off target and the rest then groups. With all the other pallets up to now, the moment I changed the power wheel, they were dead center from the word go. But that's how we learn. Yeah. I just love the absolute round holes these hornets make there's no splitting of the paper it doesn't do funny tears it hits solid round little holes all right so that's enough about semantics excellent grouping all the way from 865 feet per second to 953 difficult to decide which one is the best of the lot but i would say 942 is a pretty good contender for the most appropriate speed for the hornets in 5.5 I promise not to make any bad terminator jokes again i did it on with the 1.77 sub 12 foot pounds but i think they need a little bit more respect coming out of the 0.22 and definitely not 12 foot pounds so let's have a look at how they perform at what speed Wow, look at that power setting for Woohoo! Time to go and measure. Woohoo! Oh me, oh my. These terminators are shooting as accurate as the target pallets or the competition pallets I showed in a previous video. At 900 feet per second, five shots, one largeish hole, but that's still one hole. Even at 935 and 948, so anywhere between 860 all the way to 950, that is pretty decent accuracy at 30 meters for a hunting pallet. I'll have to take them to the 50 meters, although they are actually built for 30 meters, I'm going to test them at 50 meters in any case, because that accuracy, I love it. And it's time for the Crow Magnum. Hmm. Alright, so it's 18 grains. But what's interesting about this one, the hollow point in the front is so big that you need to be careful not to load the pallet incorrectly into, <laughs> into your pallet loader. I nearly did it twice. All right, let's get on to some shooting. Mm. 
No. That's all I'm going to say. No. Okay, so that was a little bit disappointing. Interesting to note that these pallets were the slowest out of the barrel of all the guns. Even on maximum speed, it could only reach 903 feet per second. So they are slow, they are inaccurate. Uh, maybe at 30 meters for ratting, they might do the trick. But for me, I'm sorry. This is not for me. And if anybody wants this turn of pellets, just raise your hand. It's on its way. Two more to go. Only two. Hang in there, guys. Hang in. All right. So the next one up is the Barracuda Hunter Extreme. This is the one that looks like it's been hit with a Phillips screwdriver in the front. They are in 18.52 grains. And I hope they're going to knock the socks out of that target. Having said that, um, I don't think these guys should be pushed more than 30 meters. I think 30 meters is their maximum hunting distance. But I hope that somebody can prove me wrong on that. Um, in the 0.177, I could not hit anything above beyond 30 meters with that. But hopefully the 5.5s are a heck of a lot better at a higher speed as well. Let's look. Alright, the 5.5s impressed me this time round. I was expecting a heck of a lot worse to be honest, but I'm actually quite surprised. The faster you shoot these babies, the more accurate they become. So the last couple were shot around about 900 feet a second, according to my quick calculations, and they actually grouped quite decently. Hmm, not too shabby. I love them. Alright, last one up will be the Barracuda Hunters, but let me go and measure those first. Don't you just love pleasant surprises? Well, I do. Pick me, pick me, pick me. I did not expect this from a Barracuda Hunter Extremes. In the 0.177, I was rudely awakened. Um, they just didn't like any of the barrels that I shot them out. But in 5.5, oh my greatness. What a lovely little hunting pellet. Again, only actually built for up to 30 meters, but they look very promising i'm going to have to try them at 50 meters as well at 836 feet per second that was the best grouping and also at 900 so if i look at my range anywhere between 780 and 903 feet per second all right time for the last one the barracuda hunter all right time for the last hunting pellet this will be the barracuda hunter in 18.21 grain and the difference here is that the dome is slightly different and a smaller hollow point in the front. Let's see what it does at what speeds. All right, that was quite interesting. Nicely, nice to wrap up with something like that. Not as accurate as the Barracuda matches, but obviously there's a big difference between a hunting pallet and an accuracy pallet. Time for the final measurements and give you guys the final results. The Barracuda hunters were consistent across the range, all the way down to 726 feet per second and up to 901 feet per second. Not much to choose between those groups, one or two odd ones here and there, but some immaculate shooting there at 834 feet per second and 879 and 901 again as i said across the board good clean comparative shooting love this stoccato voice of mine <coughs> let's wrap this up with the best grouping of each palette so the jsb hades the best grouping was at 883 feet per second the best one for the hornets was at 942 feet per second and what an immaculate grouping that was Looking at the Terminator, that came in at number 4 at 900 feet per second. The Crow Magnum, well, I had to choose one again at 903 feet per second. 
the Barracuda Hunter Extremes an excellent grouping at 836 feet per second and then last the Barracuda Hunters with some awesome groupies across the board but the best one at 879 feet per second well guys that's all I have for you for today with the hunting pellets I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making that I'll see you guys in the next one that's all folks.